What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now in tonight's video, we are going to be installing our spoiler delete kit and you guys finally get to hear the exhaust. Now, I know I was hyping up exhaust tips and as you can see, they're still not here yet. But other than that, we actually have a full exhaust routed here. I will show you guys what the finished product looks like. I was able to run to my local um, auto shop and have this tubing welded up so that way it's not all held on by clamps and it doesn't look all sloppy. And then we got the, the mufflers hanging there. You know, I have the, it's all bolted together here at the flange. This is just the, uh, the X pipe. Um, the pipes kit held up really well. Uh, the passenger side muffler sticks, like, sticks out more towards the, the side of the car than this one. This one, the driver's side sits like practically right next to the diff. Uh, it's not gonna bump or hit or anything, so it's fine. As the passenger one sits a little further away. That's just on the bend of the um, pipes, the universal pipe that we use to connect our X pipe to the mufflers. Uh, you shouldn't experience any issues with it. I don't know for sure though, you know, we haven't exactly driven this thing yet with our new exhaust, so we don't know if it's gonna hit or rattle. Uh, not sure, but I'll obviously let you guys know if something comes up, we'll, you know, when spring comes around and I can drive this thing again. I, I'm gonna show you guys what this sounds like, but I'm gonna play clips that I have on my phone. Uh, I'm not gonna start this thing up tonight. It is, it's later in the evening and I don't wanna wake anybody up. I don't wanna wake the neighbors or anything by revving it or anything. So here's some clips that I took on my phone. So this kit, I ordered this, um, it's called a spoiler delete kit. And pretty much what it is, is it's paint matched like end caps to go in where the screws go. Cause your spoiler's held up by four screws. And obviously when you pull the spoiler out, there's gonna be holes there. Well, uh, a guy on eBay, I don't know if it's a guy or a specific company, um, I'd have to look, but because I can't find this anywhere else. I used to see it all the time on like name brand like companies and their websites. Now nobody sells these besides on eBay. And it's I think like 15, 10, 15 dollars right in that range. And like I said, it's just four little end caps that, hold on, I'm trying not to like lose them when I dump it out here. I mean, this just shows you how small they are. Um, obviously got black, but I mean, they're, they're tiny, like compared to my, you know, my thumbnail, like they, they're pretty small. And there's four of them in there. Two of them are bigger than the other two. Um, I haven't taken a spoiler off this before, so I don't know, you know, if the front two are gonna be bigger or the back two are gonna be bigger. But either way, I mean, honestly, this is just pretty self-explanatory, you just, you know, pop the trunk, take the, the nuts and bolts out, pull the spoiler, clean it up, and put these in there. Um, now actually, real quick, they have paint matched for like uh, red and blue and all sorts of stuff like that, but for black, they have unpainted ones. And even though it's obviously black, it's not like the glossy black, it's just like a, uh, like a textured plastic black. But what you do is you just take a bit of fine grit sandpaper and sand the top, and then take like touch up paint, um, like a little bottle that you can buy that comes with like the brush or the little um, tiny little tip. And then you just uh, touch it up once it's on the car or you can or you can do it. It doesn't matter where you do it. Uh, so we're going to probably do that just how so it doesn't stick out a little bit or so it blends in a little more. But enough of me rambling on. Let's get this wing off. Well, we are finally putting our uh, Harbor Freight light to use for I think probably the second time since I got this thing. Um, we'll be putting it to more use later once we start the body work, because this light, honestly, oh, what is that? Oh, jeez. 
yeah, the, the body's rough. This is definitely, it's going, it's going to look amazing once it's done. Mm. Probably wouldn't hurt to have a bath too. Um, but okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting off topic now. So all you're gonna need for this is, you don't need the electric ratchet, I'm just, I'm a little extra. Um, but you will need a 10 millimeter. I have an 11 here, just because this nut right here, I'll, I'll move the light as I work onto this side, but the nut right here, I believe has a really thick layer of paint over it. Um, the 10 won't fit, but once I put the 11 on there and probably you know, put some force on it, it might peel the paint back and then I can fit the 10 on. But these should all be 10s. Um, I don't, like I said, this car has been in a collision more than once. And so like, I don't have like the insulation underneath the hood. And I, I assume there's probably supposed to be insulation for the trunk here but I don't have it. So if you guys have insulation, you know, take it out. But if you're like me and you have kind of like a Frankenstein t together Mustang, you're gonna be missing a lot of stuff. So it, it comes in handy. I mean, like the screws, like the little cap pieces that hold all like the upholstery on in the trunk. Yeah, I only have one of them. So, you know, I mean, it, it comes with perks. It comes with perks. Uh, my old headlights or taillights, they were both held on by like one or two screws each. And so all I had to do was just remove one nut and then boom, you know, tail light was out. It's, it's little things like that. You got to genuinely appreciate when you get some, when you get a car like this, you know, no hate on the previous owner or nothing. I'm just saying, you know, it's, it's the little things that matter. Well, that first one came off. No problem. This one just really doesn't want to come off. Uh, I don't know if the thread is spinning inside of the spoiler, I don't know, but we're going to keep working at it here and eventually get it off. You know, one of the good things about being a mechanic is uh, Snap-on, not only does it give you crippling debt, but they have really good deals and I was able to get a matching ratchet and breaker bar set that's just like really cool neon blue. Um, I've only used this thing maybe a handful of times because you don't really need a long quarter inch. If anything, you need small ones to get into places, but, you know, it, it was promotional. I couldn't pass it up. All right, cool. I got two out of four out. We're losing heat, so might have to make a quick trip to get another tank. Uh, I need to get electric heat. That's honestly what I really need to do. I've been thinking about it. This thing has been nothing but a pain. It's a good heater, but it, like, kills through propane. And the thermocoupler on the right side went out so i actually have it zip tied to hold the valve open so that we both work because if you don't got both running this garage will stay cold and the moment you open a door all your heat is gone i don't know how dirty it's going to be i hope there's paint underneath this i hope i can actually do this because if there's not paint underneath this i'm going to put the spoiler back on because i don't want to just be like a random glob i know i got body work to do and stuff like i just don't want to be like a random glob of like a different shade of black so Let's hope there's paint, but it should. Oh yeah, that's actually not bad. Definitely needs to be cleaned up, like a lot. That is not bad at all. I was expecting a lot worse. Um, that's just, that's just dirt. So I'm gonna have to, wow, that actually looks, that actually looks pretty good. I like that look. I, I don't know, you don't ever see these things without spoilers. You always see them where they got like a saline or a cobra or even like a stock spoiler like this, but really light too. But you never see them without, that actually looks sweet. Well, this just turned into uh, something. So taking the spoiler off and looking at the surface areas, you know, there's a little bit of paint bubbling, um, but it's not, it's not anything bad. And I'm gonna touch it up and whatnot so that way it doesn't, you know, flake off or nothing. But this side was the worst. And so what I had to do was square off the area, sand it all down, and then, yeah, I had to sand it down, get all the paint and stuff off of it. And then I had to primer it. I'm letting the primer dry. This is the second coat, real light coats. And then from there, I'm going to have to run a paint, a coat or two of paint, and then one, or two coats of clear. It's finally done. 
So now what we can do is we can move on to using our touch-up paint. Um, this right here. Uh, this stuff works great and it's actually relatively cheap. And if you unscrew the cap here, it's got like um, kind of it's like nail polish. It's a brush. And so what we're going to do with our caps is, I'll show you guys here in a second, is we're going to take some fine grit sandpaper and just lightly sand the tops. And then we're going to hit it with some touch up and then we're going to let it dry before we put it on the car or anything like that. And once we go to put it on the car, we're going to use a little bit of RTV just to something to kind of seal um, the edges so that way rain doesn't get in there or anything like that. We're going to start, we'll start with a bigger one and we got some relatively fine grit sandpaper and you're just gonna lightly rub it just like this nothing crazy just something to kind of take the roughness of it off a little bit and you'll notice that it's coming off a little bit that is completely normal you're just gonna want to sand off Send off what you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, especially since this is a black car. Um, but this just allows for the paint to stick a little better. Okay, so like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but obviously I can feel it is a lot smoother. And from here, we'll actually use this as our little painting surface because I don't want to get paint all over this stool. We will take our touch-up paint, and when you unscrew it here, it's going to come out a little bit of a mess, but... Just get just a little bit of paint. I mean, just just a little bit, and you're gonna wanna just gently go over it like this, and then that's it. And now you're gonna obviously repeat this with all four, and then let them dry. So I'm going to clean up the rest of these, hit them with a little bit of paint, let them dry. So I'll see you guys in a second. The best method to do this is don't. Like, I got adhesive all over my fingers. But don't put the adhesive on and then put this cap in. See, this seal all, it, it works great. It is extremely, extremely sticky. And it dries actually pretty quick. And so, it once it dries, it kind of solidifies and it's really hard to get it in there. So, the, your best bet is to honestly, uh, I would just use the end of this ratchet and... Just kind of lightly tap them in. Um, well, that one went in. Um, let me see, will the small one? Okay, well, maybe it was just that hole, I guess. Okay, well, never mind. It was just this hole that was being a pain. But the rest of them go in smooth. And then from the back here, we are going to take some seal all and put it, I, my hands are already covered in paint and all that so I don't even care if I get this stuff on my skin and take like that and kind of put my finger behind it and rub I'm gonna have to probably do more than that uh, pretty much this is like I said just to stop rain stop water of any kind from getting in here and there we have it the finished product I let the adhesive sit and dry for a little bit and I put an extra coat on it uh, just to be sure, just to make sure there's absolutely no leaks or nothing. I won't know for sure. I mean, honestly, I probably could get a, like, a water bottle and just dump some water on it and see if it leaks through. It's it's too late for that. I am too tired. I It's it's fine. If it leaks, I can always just throw a little bit more adhesive on there and, you know, and I'll be good. That's a wrap for tonight's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. We're at 169, I believe. Um, numbers have definitely been really, really good. So thank you guys so, so much for that. As always, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like these videos, share them with your friends. Help me grow NYA cars into something amazing. Thank you guys so much. Have a good night.